As Sri Lanka's economic crisis deepens, Colombo doctor Saman Kumara has confronted his biggest fear. The possibility of newborns dying, with his hospital running out of this life-saving device called endotracheal tubes. I was started shivering actually when I, when I heard that endotracheal tubes are not available in the country. Dr. Kamara sent a desperate WhatsApp message for donations to doctors around the world. It went viral. He got enough endotracheal tubes for the whole country. But he says crowdfunding isn't a permanent fix. I hope we, we can manage these two months, uh, you know, without losing lives. Well, there is going to be a contraction of the economy and that people are going to feel it very, very hard. In an interview with the ABC, Sri Lanka's new Prime Minister was upfront about just how critical the situation has become. <laughs> Protesters pushed out his predecessor, Mahinda Rajapaksa, and they're trying to get rid of his brother, the President, Gautabe Rajapaksa, blaming them for years of chaotic fiscal management. With no foreign currency left for imports, medicine, food and fuel are all about to run out. How do you feel when you see these long queues outside for fuel and gas and so on? I feel bad. I feel pretty bad. There are one outside my office also. I like to see it being dissolved. But... Nandita Gamage has been growing vegetables at her Colombo home for years. It's gone from a hobby to a necessity. The Sri Lankan government has now given people one day off a week to grow their own produce in preparation for food running out. How can you grow so much of food in small flats and small houses? Uh, there has to be some, another solution for that. There are new worrying statistics from the United Nations which show just how bad things are getting here in this crisis in Sri Lanka. Poverty is increasing. It's set to double in the next two years. Many students and teachers can no longer go to school because of the fuel situation. And nearly a million children are now classified as at risk and in need of humanitarian assistance. The Prime Minister says the country needs $6 billion for six months of supplies. A team from the International Monetary Fund is expected to touch down in Colombo tomorrow for talks on an urgent bailout package. Pressure is also mounting on the Australian government to send aid. We fertilise a great help for us. We have fertilised medicine. But we have and some food aid to get over the next one. We have about three critical months. The crisis is now pushing Sri Lankans to take boats to Australia. More than 370 people have tried to make the journey in the past month. And the Prime Minister says the Australian government can help. What you can do is to encourage more, I would say because of that problem, encourage more young Sri Lankans to come and study there and help them to do that. They'll come back to us. As projections for this country get more daunting, Sri Lankans can only hope the resilience they've used during other disasters will get them through this crisis as well. I think, uh, as Lord Buddha said, everything is temporary. I hope this situation is also temporary. The Australian government didn't respond to the ABC's questions on calls for help for Sri Lanka. If no one steps in, this suffering could go for months. Avani Dias, ABC News, Colombo.